Hi, Casper here from Bose Wine on the 10th of May 2015 and tasting champagne this evening um, and this is a champagne house called Le Noble, um, not widely known but um, I think the Cognoscenti are very keen on Le Noble and um, you know they often come out in the top 10 of, of uh, devotees of uh, the wines of the region um, and I tasted the whole range recently um, and uh, was very impressed. This is, yeah, just 12%. This is the Grand Cru Blanc de Blanc 2008. Um, and uh, so I, I tasted uh, a couple of tastes of champagne tastings recently. One where I tasted a whole range of these, another where I tasted just a huge range of vintage champagnes from uh, sort of 99 up to 2009 or so. Um, and uh, 2008, I thought, offered, had enormous potential. I thought the wines were. Deeply lovely, actually, very elegant, uh, very complete wines of subtlety and complexity. Um, and this, no, no difference, Blonde de Blanc, so we're talking 100% Chardonnay here. And just a very straight down the line nose. Gosh, it's got enormous focus and um, sort of lemon, but also a bit of spice, a little bit of earthiness to it. It's got density to the aromas, but um, great sort of vim and intensity of that sort of lemon juice um, freshness to it. Ooh. God, that palette is just fantastic. I mean, this is a, this is obviously a very young wine. And by the way, I, I chilled this right down in the fr uh, fridge and then I left it for about probably three quarters of an hour. It came up to about 11 degrees, 11 degrees C, which is um, kind of, kind of where it should be. I think it's um, very nice at this temperature. Something floral about it, you know, daffodil or something spring-like, very nice. Yeah. And the bubble is just sort of cashmere texture, really. You can't pick out the, the fizz um, itself. It, it just appears like this sort of cashmere, slightly creamy texture across the, across the palate. And it's, it's a wine of, of deep minerality. I mean, it's, it's very upright lemon freshness, which just sears its way across the palate. Not sears is probably the wrong word, but it's very incisive, very accurate, very straight and upright, wonderfully fresh, adorned with this sort of really quite uh, quite intense minerality that adds to that freshness. Touch of toastiness from the yeast to it, super grip, super mineral, mineral grip to it. Um, you know, it's quite tightly wound, this thing will unfurl with with years in the cellar, um, and I think it could be kept really quite a long time. You know, I don't think um, I don't think you know ten, fifteen years will do this any harm. Possibly even more than that. Um, it's completely lovely. I mean, it it really is absolutely super wine, and, and one can understand why Lenoble has this um, has a, such a great reputation. You know, I'm tasting this. This is a, it's a very complete and very impressive wine, and and some of the wine that's going to find its way into my cellar, but uh, I'll put this on an offer and I hope to sell a uh, good tranche of it.